What's happening YouTube Shoe Boy Tech Tricks back in another video and today we're looking at the Scorp Mini by Feiyu Tech. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos come up tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. Hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and see um, how this is going to revolutionize your way of vlogging and also to stabilize your footage. This can be used on devices, cameras, smartphones that are under 5 pounds. With my camera, with the Panasonic G9 and a 15mm uh, prime lens, that is uh, under 5 pounds, so I was able to use it with this. And then at the same time, I also tested my smartphone. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and try this out. As you can see here, on, as soon as you open it, there's a manual, some literature as well. Quite the packaging by Fayette Tech here. Let's look at the accessory box. This comes with all the accessories, like a tripod mount like this where you can mount a GoPro on this as well. It comes with the USB-C to USB-A cable as well to charge the device. Some Allen keys for tightening. It comes with the lens holder as well. A rod, if you're mounting something. And a bunch of cables as well so that you can connect your camera or smartphone to the gimbal. It also comes with a stand so that you can use this to balance the gimbal. It also comes with a camera mount like so, adjustable on both sides as well. Of course it comes with a phone holder as well. And then the gimbal itself. Now this can be used from uh, SLR to smartphones, compatible wide range devices like even GoPro. It also has a 3 axis mechanical gimbal. Uh, it cuts out important moments without blurring. Adopting an image stabilization algorithm equipped with strong anti-vibration technology. It doesn't blur like a movie and even first timers can shoot smoothly. This also adopts an ergonomically designed handle that can take in a freestyle with both hands or one hand with only 787 grams of lightness. It's hard to put a burden on your hands so you can forget the time and immerse yourself in video shooting. Easy operation that is easy for beginners as well. Uh, with a quick release plate you can easily and quickly install your device. In addition with a simple and easy to understand touch panel operation even beginners can use it quickly so you could start vlogging right away. This can also have different modes like 360 rotation of shooting. There's also a motion lapse that you can use as well. And then there's the panoramic view. So you can shoot uh, multiple angles as well. It'll automatically do it for you. Now there are two different apps that we're looking at today. There's the Feiyu On, which is for the smartphone. If you want to shoot using the Scorp Mini with the smartphone, this is the app you would use. And then there's also the Feiyu Scorp, where you can use this to control your gimbal using your smartphone if you have a GoPro or a DSLR on your gimbal. With the Feiyu Scorp app, you'll be able to have the same functions as I had. I have reviewed the Scorp C before and I was able to control my gimbal using my smartphone. You'll be able to do the exact same thing here on the Scorp Mini. With the Scorp Mini though, it has a screen like this, so you can click the motion lapse if you want to do motion lapse on the screen itself. And then you could set it up on the smartphone after that. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to set two points and then we're going to start recording. After you set the points, you can set the interval, how long the motion lapse will be as well. Once you are ready to go, hit start. Now because of this screen, you could just hit one tap if you want selfie mode, if you want portrait mode, or in 
or any mode that you want you could just tap it on the little screen on the scorp mini before on the scorp c when i was using it it was a bit tough you have to remember like the functions and which buttons to click so that it'll go through different modes this one has a screen uh, one click go through the menus and you'll be good to go Now, depending on what you're using, DSLR or smartphone or GoPro, it doesn't matter. You'll be able to use this for a selfie mode as well. You can hold it over here or you can hold it on the score side as well. You can hold it normally as well so that you can see the functions as well and you can move it while you're vlogging. They also have a dolly zoom if you're really into that. I haven't really done a dolly zoom. I'm not really good at it, but there, it is a function here on the Fade Tech. Scorp Mini. You can also do a 3x3 panorama and then there's the 180 degree panoramic view as well. And that's it for today everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope it was able to help you on your choice in a brand new 3 axis gimbal for your smartphone, for your GoPro and also DSLR cameras up to 5 pounds. If I was able to help you, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Everything will be linked down below so go ahead and check that out. Make sure to hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. I hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.